That's his offense. How will he handle someone like Rosado, who's so quick? He can score punches. If Rosado starts backing up Munguia, you can tell that's going to be success. That Munguia doesn't fight as good on the back foot as he does on the front foot. Munguia currently on a four-fight knockout streak. Only three of his last 14 fights have been on the distance. And he's ended fights in different ways. Against Toriano Johnson, that fight was stopped after he was up across the He literally split the lip of Johnson. Munguia having a lot of success, success stabbing Rosado in the midsection, bringing them elbows down. Look at the clash of heads. And Munguia got the worst of it. He's trying to blink the left eye. There's too much head hunting from Gabe Rosado early on. They talked all week about the need to soften up the body of Nice Munguia, to slow him down. So far, it's Munguia throwing the lion's share of the body shots. You know, it's Freddie Rhodes who's saying, it's an impressive. Munguia's body allows him to lose his authority there. And Munguia concentrating on speed. I love seeing that. I've seen a little bit of that with Spiker Sullivan. I want to see a lot more of that. Don't load up on the shots. Don't smother yourself if you're Munguia.
up, separate. You don't see a lot of emotion in the face of Jaime Munguia. You can't really tell how he's feeling in this. <laughs>
punches. Three, four, five punches at one time. And that's Medea again on the front foot. Rosado stuck the police. To the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. Judge Raul Tai Senior has the bout 118, 110. Judge Zachary Young has the bout 119, 109. And Judge Max DeLuca scores the bout 117, 111. And still the reigning WBO Intercontinental Middleweight Champion. El orgullo de Tijuana, Baja California, México. El invicto, Jaime Mu. <laughs>